Hello, all friends and patrons of Kalakriti. Now, I have been getting a lot of uh, compliments for this homemade uh, face mask and face masks are uh, uh, to be our new fashion accessories for actually they are a necessity. I should not be calling them fashion accessories. But since they are a necessity, why uh, should we not, you know, make them a little more fashionable just to match with our different outfits, different types of dresses. So this is homemade and very, very simple, very easy to make. So I will show you in three simple steps how to make your own uh, mask at home, different colorful masks. Uh, see, basically first let me show you the reverse side of my uh, Ajrak printed indigo mask which you have been seeing for quite some time and on my Facebook DP as well. Uh, well, the reverse as you can see is a normal simple 20 rupees cotton mask and I have just given it a colorful cover to make it a little more fashionable and this extra layer also gives it one added layer of protection. So you're getting one added layer of protection filtering as well as uh, an interesting look to uh, the simple you know not so interesting looking uh, mask so this is the 15 rupee or 20 rupee uh, in some places you also get it free because it's distributed uh, mask distributed by the government also there's a simple cotton mask which is available everywhere which we normally wear like this now if you have a good printed uh, cotton is of course my favorite because you know cotton is most comfortable it's breathable and this is a cotton mask and so uh, no uh, I, I always prefer cotton so if you have any cotton printed dress with an interesting print you don't have to buy you don't have to spoil your uh, dress material which is new you can just recycle your old top or uh, kurta which uh, you are just about to throw away or turn into a dusting cleaner you're just about to you know throw it away you can use bits and pieces of that I did just that this was a part of my old discarded kurti and uh, I just uh, you know cut out a piece of it and then what you do take this normal mask and I hope you all can see uh, you place it on this piece of cloth and you draw out an area on all sides about keeping two inches gap on all sides two na actually uh, about one and a half inches would do I'll just show you how to do it see I have yes this is about the extra part of cloth that you need on both the sides and you just you know cut out this extra piece of cloth from this bit now this is the part which you will be using to make your mask place this on the mask and I'm sure you all have your knee needle and thread at home which we used to you know stitch our buttons and all that just take that and from these two sides to make it simpler just cut out the extra length of cloth okay this is like very very simple so you basically keep just a little bit of extra cloth at the top and at the bottom of the mask okay I'll show you the reverse it looks like this now what you do with your thread and needle you just fold this part along the hem and you stitch it you just hem the edges a little bit like we hem our clothes like this 
and you stitch this part and you fold and you stitch the reverse also like this okay now one little bit which i will uh, a small tip which i will give you is while you stitch because this is a stretchable material it stretches right and this is cotton it will not stretch this has a little bit of lycra in it so it will stretch but just a little bit so while you stitch up this part keep half an inch of breathing space at the edge okay like this suppose if this is the edge and you're stitching up this you keep just a little bit of stretchable space and then you fold it like this and you hem the edges see there is just a little bit of extra flappy part at the top don't worry this part will not remain flappy after stitching it because as you wear this mask and it sort of stretches the inside lining stretches the extra breathable space in both the sides will help the inner mask to stretch and you know not uh, get crinkled or lose its shape i have done exactly that in my mask this was black in color the original mask was black in color and if you can feel here you will feel that little extra hem at the edge which helps it to and it also makes the mask a little bit uh, you know uh, bigger in size but you can adjust that according to your own face length my face is a little bigger than average so i was feeling that this uh, mask will like probably be a little narrow for my face so i made it as per my face measurement and it always helps you know to have that breathable that stretchable space it's just about half an inch on both the sides you can make it quarter inch also just this much just this much on both the sides will help you uh, the external cover to stretch together with the internal cover so after you stitch it up it will somewhat look like this I have not stitched it up but I'm just like kind of showing it to you. So after you stitch up both the sides, your mask will look like this. Okay. See because I had a black colored mask, it went with the blue. Now for a pink mask, a light flowery print will probably go with the uh, side bands, you know, because... Um, this uh, for all the dark color masks you can da use dark colored prints and for all the light colored masks because we sometimes have to buy whatever is there whatever is available and because this is a time of great necessity these uh, masks are much in demand you don't always have a control on what color you get to choose or what color is available in the market so whichever mask you get you can always take or choose a print accordingly so if you have a light colored mask a light Colored print, a summery print would look nice with it. Something in cornflower blue or maybe yellow or maybe orange or maybe light green. A floral print. Uh, and um, if you have a dark colored mask, of course, a darker print would go with it. And, you know, it would cover it up nicely and match. It wouldn't look too jarring with the uh, bands because we're not doing anything with the bands. We have to, uh, we are just kind of, you know, covering up the middle part. To make it look fashionable and uh, just like that you know to stand out uh, <laughs> in the crowd in the sort of uh, what should I say um, among a lot of other masks and of course it is uh, made by you it is handmade by you it's very special it has your own special touch and we have all our family members at home and we can all make uh, special masks for each of us according to their color preferences or print preferences and uh, make sure you have two three of these because these are all washable and they have to be washed after at least I think after every two days these masks need to be washed so each of us for daily wear at least we need uh, you know three or four of these you can have a few ordinary ones and you can have a few special ones whatever you like so i just showed you how easy and how simple that is 
and we can all do it at home. You don't have to, you know, get it online or order for it or buy it. You can just make it. It'll be a nice crafty thing to do, something which we did long back in school. And now, of course, we have the time and the leisure and we can all do it. It's fun. Thank you.